Hello everybody, my name is Aceface, I am in the system of Gekutami and I found a ton of cosmic signatures here and one of them happened to be a Garistus 4 out of 10. So we're going to get down to work here. This is the railgun uh, fast insta locking or fast locking uh, Hecate that I used to farm high sick anomalies and it's been working out so well. Uh, this is now the first time I'm ever going to try it in a Garistus 4 out of 10, I've never tried it before so it'll be interesting to see how quick or how slow it goes. So because the thing is, I've used a blaster, Hecate, and it was very slow. And it was not because the DPS was bad. It was because like there was not enough range. Everything was just way too far away. So it was not really the range made the, even though like almost double the amount of DPS that we got now, it was so much slow because we had to get in close and it was uh, not a good time. But here, I think with the railgun, it'll be actually quite good. So we'll see here. Also, it'll be a good understanding of how good the tank is as well. I'm quite curious how that works out as well. We've got tons of mortifiers here. These guys can be a little bit uh, spicy if they uh, start doing a lot of damage to us. So we're going to actually start doing damage to them. Might even actually have to go a little bit to the side right here. But we are doing a lot of damage to them. That looks like quite good. And something I realized even is that my, like... DPS could be a lot better because I only had Galenta Tactical Destroyer at level 1. <laughs> I never realized that, but I actually did. I had only Galenta Tactical Destroyer at level 1. So I've started training it to at least level 4 now, and I think I've almost got it to... Uh I've got to almost to level 2, so we're still, still going with level 1 here. So there's actually a lot more DPS to be had on the table because we do have more DPS than the Confessor I used previously. But the thing is, it didn't feel like... It felt like I could... For the amount of range we're getting, we should be able to get some more DPS. And it uh, must be a lot to do with that. I've not uh, trained a lot of the skills needed or the tactical destroy skills. Oh, we've got Jackdaw here. We're going to be a bit of competition going on. Ooh. I hope he doesn't steal it from me. If he does, I'm going to be a little bit pissed off. But I have high hopes that we'll be able to out DPS him since Jackdaws, at least if he's using light missiles, will have less DPS than we've got right here. And we can always overheat as well. So I think we will have an easier time uh, competing him than he will have competing me. He seems like he wants to go for it. So we're going to keep an eye here just to make sure we insta warp straight away as soon as. We have taken out all these guys. Is he doing stuff? Let's see if he's doing stuff. Yeah, he's also shooting stuff, so we'll go a little bit quicker. We're going to overheat like crazy. We're just going to go straight in and overheat everything on the Grista Scout Outpost. Or the Radiating Telescope is what it's called. And we'll even probably switch to the long range ammo, I think. I think that might be a good idea. Ah, look out there, far away. We can't shoot them. We'll switch to the, the spike because we'll be able to do damage instantly and we'll just switch the ammunition type when we get close. Yeah, we do a lot less DPS obviously with this, but I think it will be worth it because we'll be able to start doing DPS straight away when we get there to the to the next room. There we go, shoot these guys. Ah, oh, this is a bit annoying. I hope we don't get out competed because the thing is the Ghost Scout Outpost or the like radiating telescope thing is uh, like 50 kilometers out. So it will take a bit of time until we like uh, get in range of antimatter. So I'm not sure here. He also seems like he's aligning out as well. I think we might have issues. Let's see. I almost destroyed all these NPCs using the spike here. We'll just have to switch over instantly as soon as we... It can even stop grouping. It's going to make everything more complicated. So we'll just have one group. There we go. So it'll be a lot easier. There we go. Shoot this guy. He's down. And then now we shoot this guy. We'll even reload here. Reload to full clip. So that everything is just re prepared so that we can go and do this straight away. He's lazy. Look, he's not doing anything. Oh, he, he whooped out? Yeah, it's locked. Okay, I don't see him. He went away. He went away, actually. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> we'll shoot the radiant telescope anyway, straight away. Just in case he somehow got a cloak or something. I don't know. But uh, that was uh, at least quite cool that he didn't go and try to steal it. But it can always be a little bit interesting with a bit of competition as well. Previously, I did a bit of competition against a pacifier. Okay, so we'll start shooting this. 
make our way towards the radiating telescope, maybe move down like this. Then when we are within the uh, range of antimatter, we'll switch over to antimatter. There we go. Okay, Galenta <laughs> Tactical Destroyer is level 2 now. Got a little bit extra DPS, so there's not that much. It's only 3% per level, but it's still something. I would have liked it to, because the thing is, the Heke it has a bonus to its uh, tracking speed with tactical destroy levels. I would have preferred optimal range. That would have been, I feel like it would be a bit more useful. Okay, here is a lot of incoming damage here. And there's no competition, so I am just going to take out these NPCs just in case, because we don't want to get popped here. And we've got pretty decent tank, but still. I'll just... To be honest, we could maybe even just go for this. I mean, it's not that much HP left. We're tanking quite well. And with the defense mode, we have quite a boss amount of tank. So it increases our armor repair rate as well. These mortifiers locked out, they do a bit of damage. You can see that they're doing like 30 hits. Or the other one's doing like 10s and like 6 or something like that. Like very single digit numbers. Move a little bit to the side here. Yeah, the DPS seems to be alright. It's not that bad. And we're getting full application here. Or almost full application. You see the 90 km optimal, 30 km fall off. So it's alright. So we're just about cap stable with this. So we can even turn off these modules here to preserve some cap. Because our armor repair rate will be faster. Like it'll increase the cycle speed. When we uh, go in defense mode. So we'll have to preserve a little bit capacitor. I'll make our way towards this right here. We can even turn this off. We don't even need these modules on. There we go, we can go in defense mode now. And make our way towards the Garista's radiating telescope loot. Hopefully something good. Please be something good. Um, now that I think of it, maybe he found another site because you can see that it's like there's a lot of signatures here. So we're going to scan here, see if we find it here. Because he was probably thinking of stealing from us, then didn't. Ah. Oh. Nothing. Typical. Okay, we'll warp towards this uh, citadel over here and we'll scan the rest of the signatures. Well, there's that jackdaw. We'll take out some of these guys here. Went to this refuge that is in the system. Can maybe get a possible escalation. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything particularly interesting here. A lot of gas sites and relic sites, and this one right here, or this one, like RYS, was very difficult to scan down. But anyway, that's a bit of a 4 out of 10 in the Heke, the Railgun Heke. It was very smooth, a lot better, like, a, by a big margin than the Blaster Heke that I used a long time ago. Really, I love this Railgun variant because you don't have to travel far to get to them. I can imagine if you had, like, an MWD and Blasters, it could possibly be good. But still, I really like the way we use these Railguns and we have the good range. You can just pop stuff really quickly when they're, like, even pretty far away. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.